All right, if you guys are thinking that psyllium musk is just roughage, by the end of this short video, I'm going to share with you how this simple intervention can be one of the most potent tools in your anti-aging health and wellness armamentarium. And by the end of this short video, you're going to understand what psyllium husk is, how this works to help to modulate this oh-so-important microbiome inside of our gut, how this influence with the microbiome and with the leakiness of the gut then helps to modulate our immune system response, and finally, I'm I'm going to go over how psyllium husk is an important part of the detoxification processes. My name is Scott Resnick, and I am making these videos to give you a systems-based approach to clarify complex medical topics and give you guys a plan to start feeling better again. And today we are talking about psyllium husk. Now, psyllium has been around industrially for a long, long time. Around the world, it's used as a thickener in a number of industrial pro processes, but it's a insoluble fiber. And what that means is it means that when we consume psyllium husk, it turns into a gel inside our gut. And what happens is this gel then serves to drive a number of different important processes, all of which will be reviewed in this video. So the first thing that this non-soluble fiber does is it helps to modulate the bacterial balance. Think of it as a prebiotic. You know, we know what probiotics are, right? These are actually giving ourselves the beneficial bacteria that line our gut. Basically, a prebiotic is kind of giving the, those bacteria the food that they prefer. And we know that when someone consumes a lot of fiber, when someone consumes additional psyllium husk, that we tend to move towards a more beneficial balance of bacteria in our gut and away from those bacterial species that could ultimately become pathogens and cause disease. Now, this should be an immediate lead-in into the barrier between this microbial world and our gut and basically everything that our immune system is set to defend on the us side of our mucosal layer. What we know is that when we consume higher amounts of fiber, that this single cell la layer of the gut, this gastric mucosa, has tighter gap and tight junctions between the cells. This simply means that there is less leakiness. So already, just by using fiber, we're seeing that we're modulating the bacterial balance to a more helpful and healthy style of bacteria. We're showing that the interface between these bacteria and the inside of us, the single cell lining of the gut, is become less porous. And and the final thing is that psyllium directly influences the signaling along the immune cells. And this is through the breakdown products of psyllium. So psyllium is a starch. You know, we don't have the enzymes to break this down, but we have a number of bacteria in our gut that do. And one of them is called fecal bacterial prasnitiae. And I just like saying it because it kind of sounds funny. But what this does is it breaks down our fiber into a series of what's known as short chain fatty acids. And these are little molecules that have two, three, and four carbon backbones. Now, butyric acid which has a four carbon backbone is kind of like manna to the immune cells. So the more of these short chain fatty acids we have, the more that our immune system moves to a state of tolerance. And we want a tolerant and ready and not persistently activated immune system because this leads to a lower state of inflammation. So the final thing that psyllium husk does is it serves as, a, as an important component of our detoxification pathways. Now, I started this video saying that, you know, most people think about psyllium as roughage and it speeds up transit time of the bowel through the gut, and this is all true. But what we know is in any part of the human body that contains any kind of a fluid or liquid, the more that we move things through that place, whether it's our bladder or our gut, the more easily we are able to clear out toxins. And this applies to psyllium husk as well. What it does is it doesn't allow these conjugated molecules, these phase two conjugates, to get back into our circulation back across this single cell layer of our gut. So there you have it, guys. I mean, psyllium is so important for so many different aspects of our physiology. And if you want to know how to use psyllium, I'd recommend you look at my channel because I've done a num number of videos explaining the dosage of, of psyllium husk and how I like to use it. And finally, if you guys want to know where are you along this disease to health, functional health spectrum, look into the description because what I've done is I've put together a really simple two minute set of five questions that you can do a self-assessment in the privacy of your own home that's going to give you good insight into your functional health. As always, I'm making these videos for you. I'm doing to clarify complex scientific issues so that you can make changes and start to get better. Today, we are talking about the barrier level of my systems health pyramid. We'll get into that in subsequent videos. Either way, I'll see you guys in another video and be sure to take, take that functional health assessment. Take care.